The US Supreme Court recently ruled that race can no longer be a factor in university admissions, putting an end to the long-standing policy of affirmative action. As a result, a new topic has emerged, intriguing many – legacy admissions. What are legacy admissions? Legacy admissions refer to the practice of giving preferential treatment to applicants who have family members, typically parents or grandparents who attended the same institution. This practice has been a tradition in many prestigious American colleges and universities for decades. Proponents argue that legacy admissions promote a sense of tradition, loyalty and community within these institutions. However, critics of legacy admissions contend that it perpetuates inequality and reinforces social privilege. They argue that by giving preference to students based on their family connections rather than merit alone, highly qualified applicants from disadvantaged backgrounds are denied equal opportunities. This perpetuates a cycle of privilege where affluent families are likely to have generations of alumni at prestigious institutions, further cementing their social advantage. This recent ruling by Supreme Court adds a new layer of significance to the legacy admissions debate. With race no longer a factor in admissions, the attention has shifted to other potential sources of inequality within the system. Legacy admissions, along with other forms of preferential treatment, such as athletic recruitment, are now under scrutiny as potential avenues for perpetuating inequalities. Opponents argue that legacy admissions disproportionately benefit white students, who are more likely to have a legacy connection due to historical racial disparities. This has led to calls for greater transparency and reform in the admission process, with some advocating for the elimination of legacy preferences altogether.